Hey everybody, hope your day is going well. We are back with the reaction Bobby Gentry, Ode to Billy Joe. This was recommended to me in the comments because people know that I like storytelling songs and they say you have to check this one out. And as far as I know, this is from 1967, or at least the song was released then. And I checked to see if uh, Bobby Gentry was still with us because it's been a while and she is, but she is retired as far as I could... Uh, could see uh, could see on the wikipedia page who knows if it's correct you know these days but uh looking forward to this ode to billy joe i was born in chickasaw county when i was six we moved to another region in mississippi called the delta and we lived between two rivers one was the azu and the other was the Tallahatchie. It was a third of June, another sleepy, dusty, delta day. I was out chopping cotton, and my brother was baling hay. And at dinner time we stopped and walked back to the house to eat And mama hollered at the back door, y'all remember to wipe your feet And then she said, I got some news this morning from Choctaw Ridge Today Billy Joe McAllister jumped off the Tallahatchie Bridge and Papa said to Mama as he passed around the Black Eyed Peas Oh, Billy Joe never had liquor since Pass the biscuits, please there's five more acres in the lower 40 I got to plant. And Mama said it was a shame about Billy Joe. <laughs> Seems like nothing ever comes to no good up on Choctaw Ridge. And now Billy Joe McAllister's jumped off the telling. We get some info here too. Gentry was one of the first female country singers to write and produce her own material. Wow, that's amazing. Love that a lot. Wow. Ode to Billy Joe, who's no longer with it. Is this based on a true story or or, or is it was it for a film or uh wow. Yeah, you could definitely see it happen while she was singing it. And what an amazing voice. Beautiful voice. And yeah, it's like Okay, I got some news for you. You know, Billy jumped off the bridge and, and, and the father's just like, yeah, pass the peas, right? Almost casually, you know, and being dismissive and also said like, Billy Joe, well, he never had a lick of sense anyway. Like blaming, it's, yeah, blaming a victim, you know, and then just casually going on back with the eating. Uh, but mama said, you know, it's, real, it's a shame and nothing ever good comes up, uh, happens around here or, up on uh, Choctaw Ridge. Wow. Damn, eh? that is, uh, you know, that's like you have those dinner scenes sometimes in movies where they're just casually talking about really bad stuff or in shows. Uh, and this is reminiscent of that, but just like being so dismissive about somebody who took his own life. Oof. That is storytelling right there. Amazing. Brother said he recollected when he and Tom and Billy Joe put a frog down the back at the Carroll County Picture Show. And wasn't I talking to him after church last Sunday night? It don't seem right I saw him at the sawmill yesterday Up on Choctaw Ridge And now you tell me Billy Joe's Jumped off the Tallahatchie Bridge mm -hmm. Wow, and, and 
you know, the brother is, is basically doing the same thing. Almost like, okay, I'll have another piece of apple pie. Uh, and what I just saw him yesterday. Now you telling me he jumped and put a frog down my back. That's like a kind of prank. I was, wasn't I talking to him after church? Oh my God. Wow. And I saw something on the screen here too, that this was her first big hit. And she said it was about unconscious cruelty. Wow. I never looked at it that way. Like it doesn't some, you know, the, the casually talking and dismissiveness of this conversation about something that, you know, heartbreaking and impactful. It's not always meant with bad intent. It's just like, yeah, we have our lives. We keep going and it's not meant to do any harm. I get it. I get it, man. That's it's, there's so much nuance to this. I love it. That's great. Mama said to me, child, what's happened to your appetite? Well, I've been cooking all morning and you haven't touched a single bite. That nice young preacher, Brother Taylor, dropped by today. said he saw a girl that looked a lot like you up on Choctaw Ridge. She and Billy Joe was throwing something on the tail at Bridge. The plot thickens, but there was a little spoiler there on the screen saying that there's still speculation what she was throwing off the bridge. And now the last line, oh, there was a girl that looked like you on Choctaw Ridge. And she and Billy... We're throwing something off the Tallahatchie Bridge. So what were they throwing? They're still not clear. So that's, I like that a lot, that she hasn't explained it. And, you know, you let your own interpretation uh, or imagination go wild with that. What were they throwing off the bridge? That would then in turn make him jump off it like a little bit later. Wow. That's heavy. That could be a number of things. Something they're trying to hide. But what in that time? Mmm. Oh, wow. I can't even go that that dark. There's some dark stuff going on in my mind. I can't even. No, no, no we're not going to go there. We're going to list it rest. A year is coming gone since we heard the news about Big Joe. Brother Mary Becky Thompson, they bought a store in Tupelo. There was a virus going round, Papa caught it and he died last spring. And now Mama doesn't seem to want to do much of anything. I spend a lot of time picking flowers up on Choctaw Ridge. Drop them into the muddy water of the Tallahatchie Bridge. Wow. The strings in this song, too, man, and the, and the picking of the guitar, incredible, a beautiful voice, and this story. Wow, that is next level. And it was all, it said in the, the letters, the, the text on screen that they actually made a movie inspired just by this song. And I can see it. There's some of these songs or even just lines and certain songs that I've been listening to on this channel that are enough to spark an entire novel or a short story or a film. Because you get so inspired off it. You know, I write as well. And, and I've been inspired by many, many songs just the motivation is back, you know, to pick it up. And I love it, man. That's incredible. And, you know, life goes on and we're, we're going, it's a year later, right? And we get a little bit of an update. Uh, the brother is married now. They bought a store in Tupelo. And then there was also a virus going on and Papa caught and he died last spring. Now mama doesn't seem to want to do much of anything. 
Like first the girl lost her appetite. Now the mother, it doesn't really want to do anything because she lost her husband. And yeah, it's again that casualness. You know, like Billy Joe gets a whole song and her dad casually gets a line at the end. Uh, that's, <laughs> yeah, wow. That is so layered, man. That's incredible. And then she is throwing up, throwing down flowers uh, off of the bridge uh, into muddy water. So we can't even know what they originally threw in because it's muddy water. Uh, wow. That is layered and complex and awesome storytelling. And I could definitely see years of conversation about you know, and different interpretations and talking about it. That's how you keep it alive. Only great songs can do that. Mm. Thanks so much for recommending it. Thanks so much for being here. Have a wonderful day. Peace.